now uh, let me talk about the pricing and the valuation of the forward contracts but before talking about the pricing and the valuation let me give some notations notations uh, firstly forward contract from time 0 to t represents the forward price t represents the time period r represents the interest rate now let me consider another case here uh, this is time zero this is maturity and this is some arbitrary point between the time zero to maturity represented by time t now the value of the forward contract at the initiation value of forward contract at the initiation and we can calculate the value of forward contract at any time between the uh, beginning and the maturity and we can also calculate the value of forward contract at the maturity now let me talk about each of them one by one first let me talk about how to actually calculate the forward price i want to write one more thing here that is the spot price now let me consider a simple case say for example uh, we have a, a, a commodity that is worth hundred dollars uh, and the interest rate is ten percent the time to maturity is one year now uh, what should be the forward price forward price is simply the spot price into one plus rate raised to power time t the spot price is hundred dollars it's one plus 0 0.1 raised to power time 1 so therefore the forward price is 110 dollars now this is going to be how to actually calculate the forward price now let me take another case where the spot price is 100 dollars uh, the uh, time is say for example 2 years and the rate of interest is 10% in this case how do I calculate the forward price the forward price will be hundred dollars into one plus interest rate raised for time t time now this will give me the uh, forward price uh, after the two years so this is going to give me the uh, forward price of one hundred and twenty one dollars now uh, let me consider uh, uh, the cal valuation of the forward contract first at the initiation uh, it is no you need to notice down that the value of the forward contract at initiation is equal to zero now why it is equal to zero let me uh, put it down the value of the forward contract at initiation is calculated like this let me first do it for you okay now uh, see uh, 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 what is the uh, spot price minus the uh, present value of the forward price that is 1 plus r raised to power time t uh, so uh, what I am uh, essentially doing I am discounting this forward price back to this time period and uh, which essentially means that uh, if the because forward price is calculated with the help of the spot price uh, now if I discount this forward price back at the same interest rate the value of the forward contract definitely is going to be zero now uh, the spot price in this case was hundred dollars now let me discount this hundred dollars and the forward price was one hundred and ten dollars 
the rate of interest was 10 percent and the time period was 1 which simply means the value of the formal contract is going to be 0. Now is, uh, in a similar scenario we can calculate uh, the forward price here also. Let me erase this first. Let me now calculate the forward price in the second case when we had two years. Now the forward price over here in this case will be simply uh, value of the forward contract at the beginning will be calculated as spot price minus the dis present value of the uh, forward forward price now the spot price was hundred dollars the uh, forward price was one hundred and twenty one dollars uh, and taking its present value it gives me a value of zero now let me consider the another case where I uh, calculate the value of the forward contract at expiration. Now take the same example uh, where we, our spot price is $100 uh, and uh, our uh, rate is 10% our time is say for example 1 year uh, let us take it 2 years and our forward price has been calculated as one hundred and twenty one dollars now I need to calculate the value of forward contract at expiration now the value of forward contract at expiration will be simply calculated as we need to find what is the uh, spot price at expiration minus the uh, forward contract now the essential feature over here is I don't need to discount let me talk about this this is time period 0 this is 2 years so in this case the price was 100 and over here we have calculated the forward price to be one hundred and twenty one dollars that is going over here and there is free rate of ten percent and time period is two years now uh, uh, if the forward price over here is one hundred and twenty one dollars uh, let me say for example if the support price support price turned out to be one hundred uh, support price at the after two years turned out to be one hundred twenty five so what is going to be the forward price over here simply the support price at the uh, at after two years is one hundred and twenty five dollars minus the forward that i have calculated forward price that is one hundred twenty one that is there is a four dollars value to the uh, uh, value to the forward contract which essentially means that the four rupees it's a positive number so which means that it is a profit to the long position now uh, simply put it a uh, profit to a long position means that whenever we get a positive figure it's going to be a profit along so why did not I discount the essential feature is that because I am calculating the value at the same period so I don't need to discount it uh, back uh, because the time period at which I am calculating the value of the forward contract is essentially the same now the fundamental question that you may ask me is that what is the difference between the price and the value price of a forward contract is simply the price that you have entered at which the parties have agreed to buy and sell the commodities or buy and sell any of the uh, commodity or in any of the stock or something else or any underlying uh, that has been agreed at a, at a particular period of time value means the difference between the uh, 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 the, be, between the price at that period of time and the forward price now let me calculate uh, the for let me take a similar example and calculate uh, the forward price at any arbitrary point 
let me consider this case uh, again this is time period 0 this is time period t and this is time period 3 so let me consider this is year 1 this is year 2 the price over here is $100 and we have calculated the forward price as uh, $121 the R is 10% I am asking you to calculate the forward price at this point when the price over here is equal to 180 so this gives me the spot price at time t after one year that is going to be 180 now how do i calculate the value of the forward contract at any arbitrary point so now it is simply simply put the time periods are different there is a lag of one year over here this one year lag needs to be adjusted so which means that we have to adjust this forward price for a lag of one year so we need to discount it back to this time period now let me discount this time period simply put so this is the spot price at time t minus the forward price that i have calculated i need to discount it for that this time period let me put it in green so this time period needs to be discounted back so as to adjust this forward price now the support price at time t is 118 dollars the forward price that i have calculated is 121 dollars the rate of interest was 10 percent the time period was 2 minus 1 so because i am taking it for a period of one year so i can calculate the forward price over here so let me discount 121 1.1 let me discount it divided by 1.1 it is equal to 110 essentially so we have a profit of eight dollars which means that this eight dollar is a profit to a long position and this eight dollar represents a, a profit to long and this will be a, a loss to short position as i have already talked about whatever will be the profit to a long position will be the uh, loss to the short position in the next next lectures we will talk about uh, the pricing and valuation of other types of the contracts like the equity contracts the currency forwards uh, equity forwards currency forwards and we'll be also talking about the